Welcome to Mishnah. Study Masechet Shabbat, Perekei Mishnah. Beto, we Mishnah, we continue what we mentioned last Mishnah, what can and can't an animal go out with on Shabbat. So we're speaking about what animals can go out with. So Hamori would say, but Mardat, a donkey could go out with its saddle. If it has its cloth saddle, again, it's for the donkey itself. It's not for the, you know, for us to ride on. It's also keeping him warm. So it's, that's okay. Bizman she kishurado, when it's tied around him. Hazicharim yusim luvim, right? The males, yani the male um, ram, Right is allowed to go out levuvim. The way Hanabam explains levuvim is when they have this um, the, uh, skin, a uh, hide that where they would tie to their um, to their male organ. Right, so they don't go ahead and um, try to mate with the females. Right, so that that would just uh, make them just weaker. So they would just tie this around them, so they uh, they don't mate. Um, okay, that's also allowed. Harechalim yotzot shehuzot. Kevulot uchvunot, right? Rechelim, Rachel is a sheep, right? Female sheep. They're allowed to go out shechuzot, right? So when shechuzot means that they tie the tail of the female sheep on their back, right? Which allows um, the the males to mate with them easier, right? If you want to impregnate the uh, you know the, the sheep, you know to have a bigger flock, right? So they would do this. They would tie the tails up. Right, so the uh, you know, the males can mate, and they could also have kivulot. Kivulot's the opposite, right? They tie the tails down, right, to protect them from the the males from mating with them. Uchvunot, uh, kivunot are really protected. Kivunot uh, meaning shimurot, protected, and this is really when they try to protect the wool of the sheep. If you have some of the some of the female um, of the sheep have really white. Uh, soft wool, so they will wrap it in some type of, you know, cloth, clothing type of thing where it protects it, um, you know, from, uh, you know, from, from from the outside and it keeps it really soft, right? So that's all this um, is okay. The uh, Mishnah continues, right? Goats could go out, tzirurot. Tzirurot are when they would tie the, um, you know, tie up the udders of these uh, goats so that the milk doesn't drip out. Um, so this is okay. Rabbi Yosef, Oser Bechulam. Rabbi Yosef says, no, they're all asur except for right? Except for the Rechalim HaKivunot. This is the, um, you know, the sheep that was, you know, uh, the, the wool. We uh, put cloth around it to protect the, the, the white wool of the sheep. That's the only one that's allowed according to Rabbi Yosef. Rabbi Uda Omer, Eizim Yotzeot Tzirurot Le'yabesh Avalod O'Halev. Rabbi Uda comes and he qualifies when we said that the goats could go out with their udders tied up. That's only if you're doing so to dry out the milk, right? Um, if you want to go ahead and um, you you want you don't want the the milk to to you know sorry if you want the right if you want it to dry out that's allowed. Avalod O'Halev. Right, but not in order, um, you know, for the milk to come out. Meaning what? Um, so Rabbi Yosef says he, he says you're not allowed to take them out when when you want the the milk to just gather so it doesn't drip out. Right, so you'll be able to milk more later. What is allowed when you take them out? Sirurot, if his kavana was to dry out the milk, right, so they don't drip out uh, as much. And halacha is like Rabbi Yehuda, right, but not like Rabbi Yosef. So everything is allowed in Amishnah. But when it comes to the, um, you know, the, the, the goats, when you have to tie them, when you tie them, when you tie the udders up so they don't, uh, you know, so, that it's, so they don't drip out milk, it's only allowed when you're doing so in order to dry out the milk, like the Behuda, that's what the house.